Former spokesman for the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Vladislav Zeleznev, stated that the Kursk operation of the Armed Forces of Ukraine may not be the only military decision that will be a surprise for the occupiers. During this offensive, some goals were achieved, some were failed. Zeleznev told RBC that when planning such military operations, the main factor is the availability of resources both in manpower and equipment. The expert noted that according to some sources, up to 12,000 Ukrainian troops are involved in the Kursk operation. Therefore, he does not expect more serious progress in the future in other areas. I don't think we should count on a march on Moscow. In my opinion, even Kursk is not in any danger, he added. However, according to him, we will only be able to find out what the top military leadership of Ukraine is planning after it happens. Although I am still convinced that the resource factor is key, Commander-in-Chief Alexander Sirsky may have plans of any level of grandeur, but without the necessary resources, everything will remain at the level of expectations. He concluded, Experts say Russia's military response in Kursk has somewhat mirrored the fumbling reactions of its president. The initial response when they got over the shock of what was happening would have been one, who have we got in the cupboard left to defend? Retired Australian Major General Mick Ryan, the author of a new book, The War for Ukraine, Strategy and Adaption Under Fire, told, whether it's conscripts, whether it's understrength battalions from the Ukrainian theatre, our strategic reserves. Battlefield accounts have backed up the sense that a motley selection of Russian troops were rushed in as Moscow grappled with the dilemma of how to balance defending its own soil with keeping up the slow momentum on the Eastern Front. Ukrainian officials said some troops were redeployed from Kharkiv region and the Southern Front. Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov claimed early on that his Special Forces unit, the Akhmat Brigade, had been deployed. Naval infantry officers from the Black Sea Fleet in Crimea are also involved. The diverse groupings complicated Russian efforts to coordinate its resistance with one pro-Russian military blogger, even noting that Ukraine was deliberately creating disruptions and then retreating, taking advantage of the fact that our diverse forces, who don't always have good communications with each other, were activated to repel this invasion. Ты что, не помнишь, где ты заезжал на них? Вон там, где мы строимся, и туда дорога просто... Ну, вон еще один танк. Ну, и вон. Гаврила не ебал, да? Весь водовоз нахуй. Говно.
Охуеть. Весь водовоз нахуй. Говно.